Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, based on my last video, it seems that you guys really enjoy uh, videos about tools and what they can do, okay? Now, last time I talked about tools that, you know, uh, a lot of people never heard of. In this video, we're gonna talk about a tool that I'm pretty sure you have heard of, but I'm also pretty sure that most of you never use it. And I think it's kind of underappreciated, so that's why I wanted to talk about it, okay? The tool we're talking about here is a backface culling. Now, what is it, how do you use it, and why should you use it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up, let's say something like we're going to model an interior. So I'm gonna take a uh, polygon cube. Yep, I'm gonna hit R to scale it. Scale it up, push it down. Okay, let's say this is our room. Pull it up a little bit. Let's turn off the grid here for a second. Okay, now let's say this is our room, right? So if you want to model this interior, you're constantly looking at the ceiling and these walls. So what some people do is they would either do this and then they go inside and are you know, trying to fit everything in there, or they even go and take out the ceiling. And as we do so, you see that the interior is black, right? So what you then have to do is go in here to object mode, go to mesh display and reverse, so now you have the actual gray walls, gray floor, and so forth. What you don't have anymore, though, is the ceiling and the walls. Well, why is that important? Well, if you are lighting your scene, you want the light to act correctly, right? Bounce off the ceiling, bounce off the walls, and so forth. So that's uh, no good. Now, how can you make it convenient for yourself, but at the same time, keep that ceiling and keep those walls? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just select this guy, we're gonna hit Control-Z, go back to basically our starting point, yeah? And what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it down again, okay? This is our room. And we're gonna start by reversing those faces. So we're gonna go up to Mesh Display and Reverse. Now, everything is black, but if we scroll into the room, you will see that it's gray, right? So the faces are facing inwards. So what we're looking at here are the back faces, and the tool is called Backface Calling. So there you go. Now with this reverse, I can now select this guy and I can go up to Display, I can go to uh, Polygons, and here you have the option Backface Calling. And normally you would have a little option here, Option Square, you can select to have different options. In this case, it's just below it, Calling Options. Keep wire, keep hard edges, keep vertices, okay? Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on uh, keep wire for now. And when we do that, you'll see that this happens. Any regular face facing the camera, so any gray face facing the camera is visible. Anything that was black before now suddenly is transparent, right? So as I move this around, anything where the backside is facing the camera is now transparent. That is very cool for a couple of reasons. First of all, you can model your interior and place it in here and your uh, lighting will respond correctly, right? Uh, but also, if you have a slow computer, uh, it will save so much time in your system uh, resources, right? So by doing it this way, you can uh, kind of uh, lower the burden on your system. Now at the moment we have our wireframe visible, so not the actual walls, but the wireframe, yeah? What if I don't want that? Well, I do have some options. So I can go back up to display, I can go to uh, polygons, and under calling options, where it says keep vertices and keep wire, I'm gonna turn off keep wire, okay? Now you're probably thinking, well, the wire is gone, but where are my vertices? Well, right click, go to vertex, and there you have it. There's your vertex, yeah? So uh, yeah, that's how that works. It, it's a good orientation point for you to see where your edges are running if you have many and you don't want them to clutter your uh, display. And uh, yeah, that's how that works. So it's easy, it's fun, it saves your resources and it helps you to work with the actual lighting without taking everything out. Just one quick note, by the way, uh, if you don't want to go up to that menu to uh, play with those options, one thing you can do is to select the object, hit Control A, open up the attribute editor, under uh, Polycube Shape 1, right, there's an option where it says Mesh Component Display, and if you go in there, it says Backface Culling, 
and you can turn that off if you like. You can go into wire mode if you like. You can go uh, into full if you like and so forth, yeah? Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know if you've got any other tools in Maya that you want covered, and I'll happily do so, okay? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.